This episode of Brains on Games is about advertising. It's like Mad Men with monkeys. Welcome to Brains on Games. I'm Dr. Brian McDonald, and this episode, like I said, we're going to talk about a game that's all about advertising. Not too long ago, I got a package from Roxley Games. I was super excited to get something from them. They're a Canadian game publisher who's put out things like Brass Birmingham, which is an awesome game that's behind me on the shelf. Maybe you can see it. As I'm recording this, their Kickstarter for a new card game, Radlands, is just finishing up. But the game they sent me is a pretty silly one called Guerrilla Marketing. This is a game that works for kids aged 8 and up. It plays in about half an hour and you can play with between 3 and 8 players. Let's take a look at Guerrilla Marketing. You can see the artwork on the box, first of all, is <laughs> it's just ridiculous these primates that are on here. The idea of this game is that an advertising executive has decided that gorillas could do a better job of marketing products than his employees. He's fired everyone and replaced them with these gorillas. And what you're trying to do is come up with products and slogans that will advertise those products. At the beginning of the game, you're going to choose a category of the product that you're going to advertise. There's seven different ones in the box, companies and college courses and food trucks and organizations. That's where you start, is with the category. All the players have one of these little booklets, these great little spiral bound wipe off booklets. And starting with the first player, you're going to draw a die out of this bag and roll it and the letter, and the letter that you roll will correspond to something within that category that you've chosen. So if you pick movies, I rolled a K, and the letter K says it's going to be a courtroom drama. But you can see they've got buddy cop movies and dance movies, and I think anime is on here somewhere. We did an anime one last time. Then you write that category here at the top of your booklet. So I'll do that and get things set up. Once everyone has filled in their book, so each player is going to roll the dice and have a different category, then you pass your book to the player on the left. That's kind of the, the format of the turns in this game. It's rolling dice, writing something, and then passing your book on. It's the player on my left who will now have this courtroom drama book, and that player is going to choose a die from the bag. You choose it one at a time, and then you roll it, and there are letters on these dice. I'm gonna talk about the different sides. There are letters on these dice, so you take out a die one at a time, you roll it until either you've got four dice or two of the faces have come up red. You're going to therefore have somewhere between two and four letters to work with. Now there are a couple of special faces. One of them is, here I'll put it down here, one of them is blank. If you just get a blank face, that means you've got one fewer letter to work with. The 2x side of the dice means that the next die you roll, if there is one, if that's the last die, then it just doesn't do anything. It acts like a blank face. But the 2x means the next die you roll, you're going to count that letter twice. I've set up the dice here as if we were going to do a turn in the game. And of course, the first thing I rolled was the 2 and then now we've got the two red faces, so nothing else is going to happen. I don't get to draw a fourth die. I've got a blank one here at the end, but that means the title of my courtroom drama just has to begin with the letters B and then a second word with the letter B. This is where the creativity comes in. Guerrilla Marketing is a game, it's a fill in the blank kind of a game that involves letters like some of the other games that we've talked about before, but it's more of a writing exercise than just a word game. You are doing some creative writing here, which is different from some of the other games that I've talked about before. And you might also invoke some of those longer term memory skills, those long term memories of advertisements or movies that you've seen before to give you some ideas of where to go from. You are trying to be creative or clever or funny in the titles that you come up with. And I have to think of one that, that you would abbreviate as BB. I should mention that each of these little booklets has a, a different primate on it and a little quote that that ape maybe would have, or monkey, I've got to be careful about my terms here, be accurate, a little quote from this character, uh, great art by Andrew Bosley, he's my favorite board game artist, he did the artwork for Everdell, which is behind me here, he did the artwork for Tapestry, which is over on the other shelf, maybe you can see that as well. 
I, I love his work and, and these monkeys are great. Well, and this was the courtroom drama title I came up with that starts with two Bs, Bad Bailiffs. And now what's going to happen is I've written my answer. I put a little X on the tab so you know which ones are filled out. And then we close the book and it passes on to the next player. It keeps going around. The next player is going to roll the dice again and have a title for a courtroom drama that's going to have different letters. But remember, each of these booklets is going around. One might be anime or martial arts or whatever. Everybody's writing every turn. There's only one player who's rolling the dice, but everyone is writing. Now, once the courtroom drama booklet comes back to me, now it moves on to the next phase of the game, the judging phase. Once again, I am going to pull a die from the bag and roll it. And this time I'm looking at not the category anymore, but the awards. How are we going to, what are we judging these titles based on? And it could be the longest dramatic scene or the worst subtitles or, or whatever. There's lots of things here listed. I roll the dice once, I pull out a second die and roll it again. And now I choose between category A or category B in terms of which award I want to give. And then the player will read through all of the things that have been written in their booklet and choose the title that they think best fits the category or the cleverest one or the funniest one, whatever they like. Once they choose a winner, the player who wrote that title gets their award, which is a banana, of course. It's a game about guerrilla marketing. So you're going to have little wooden banana meeples that the player will get. The winning player gets the meeple. The judge will write that title at the top of the booklet and all of the options within that booklet then get erased. So you've got a blank book now that has the winning title and the category here at the top. The next part is you sort of do it all over again, but this time instead of the title, you're coming up with the advertising tagline. If you were watching a trailer of this movie, what would the voiceover say at the end? And you, the turn goes just exactly the same as what we've talked about. You roll the dice, you write something in your booklet, and you pass it on to the next person, and then there's an awards phase again. You have a separate awards phase for round two, and the back of the little category thing has a picture of all the, the characters in the agency working together on their advertisements. Once again, once you decide on the awards and everybody chooses their winner, they, the players who win get their banana meeple and whoever has the most bananas at the end of the game is the winner of the game. And that is guerrilla marketing in a nutshell. This is a game that's about creative writing that requires some long-term memory to think back about previous movies or books or products or food trucks or bands that have been advertised in the past. Thanks again to Roxley Games for sending this game along. If you have any questions or suggestions for me, you can find me at brian at brainsongames.ca. Brainsongames.ca is the website where previous episodes are up and future episodes will go up there too. Brains on Games is the Twitter handle and the Facebook page and the Instagram feed, so we are all over the place. And if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to be notified of future ones, you can head on over to YouTube and click that subscribe button. Thanks for joining me and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.